Hello everyone and welcome. BNSF 6951 here with updates and first test run of my P-Vine sub. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on over and you'll see that I did start with my new sanding facility and that is a, um, a Helgen kit. Um, it comes with the fuel stand as you can see that's already pretty much done and then we're gonna span around to the tank farm and the tank farm I painted most of the uh, vertical tanks um, like a silver color and that's basically more prototypical than what they were then we have over here it would be like a uh, crew shed and a warehouse for uh, repairing stuff in the yard and whatever and then we're going to pan on over to sand plumbing and heating supply. Um, as you can see, that uh, it's coming along, it's painted, and it's got a roof on it. And the signage will be going on it next. And next to that, we have the uh, heavy equipment leasing company, which I got a couple of buildings for that, and the dotted lines are the property lines. And next to that is a trucking outfit and a truck repair facility. And unfortunately it's not an engine repair facility. Those just uh, need a little bit of work. That's why they're off the track. <laughs> As we come on over, you will see that I have started the skeleton work for Smith Pipe and Steel Company. All of these buildings are part of that complex. Um, neither this facility or the sand plumbing supply company get rail service anymore um, for whatever reason they said it was too dangerous or whatever so now we will uh, see a first test run with a pair of Jeep 30s a Jeep 38 and a Jeep 40 and we're going to pull a small train around and let's see if we can get Get it going here. And we got hook up. And now let's see if we can get it to go around for the track I have already down. Pulling out of the yard. And hopefully we won't have a derailment because these are Atlas turnouts and none of them have any motors on them yet so they're kind of free floating. And as we come out of the yard, we're going to hit the crossover to go to the main. And at this point we're starting at 2% grade. And the distance from the yard to this point is actually 4 miles but I had to squeeze it in. It's a place called Alhambra. And you can see that we're pulling up on this grade. And the first place we're going to come to is a place called Glendale. This is in Arizona. And as you can see where it splits off there, where it goes to the right, will be the TOFC, COFC, and Intermolar Yard. And for some reason or another, we just stopped here. probably dirty track. I haven't cleaned this track for a while. At this point the grade turns to 2.3% two two, and so far we're doing pretty good. As you can see we're still climbing the hill. That was the town of Glendale we just went through. The next town we'll be hitting will be the town of Peoria. Both Glendale and Peoria will have industry. Not quite sure of what yet. Uh, Glendale has a lot of lumber facilities, so that's probably what I'll do in Glendale. And we're getting close to the end of the track that I have laid down already. And I think we will stop the train right there. And as we continue around, you'll see that I started doing the sub red road bed for the upper level, which is going to be the second level, and then it'll go totally around the layout 
at a second level about uh, 15 inches and as we come across here we're going to start going up even further and then we're going to come over and go over the bottom table with a full loop and then back around to this side total is going to be about two and a half to three levels um, I guess that's it for now so I hope you enjoyed this your comments and subscriptions are welcome uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye